don't know where to start, but the past week has been crazy wild, and uh, the Philippine stock market has breached in circuit breaker niya twice this past week, and the last time na nangyari yun was way, way, way back, 2008, and it's almost 12 years ago, so I'll explain more about it later in this video. There will be an incoming partial lockdown or community quarantine starting March 15, so yung rules doon medyo magulo pa, so I hope na i-clear sana nila this coming week before mag-start yun, starting March 15, and also uh, yung travel and in in, uh, in tourism industry natin has been hit the hardest plus yung MSMEs, yung micro, small and medium entrepreneurs natin will also be hit hard by the coronavirus and I hope yung ano, government natin will, would uh, act with a cash stimulus package sa economy natin so either magbigay sila ng lower parang mga uh, tax rates or tax cuts and also sana magbigay sila ng lower uh, interest rates na loans sa mga businesses that will be affected. On a personal note, all my travel plans this March has been cancelled. So, yung Quezon trip ko, yung Shargao trip ko, yung friend ko na dapat uwi ng Pilipinas from the US na matagal namin nakita. It's almost a year since uh, she last went home. So, nakancel na rin yung flight niya. Plus, um, yung wedding ng friend ko that's supposed to happen this March, so sa last week na March, and yung wedding venue niya is outside Metro Manila. So, parang hindi kami sure kung matutuloy ba ba or mapupush through yung wedding niya. So, yun, there's a lot of things na nangyari that has been cancelled because of coronavirus for me. Again, these are just light inconvenience para sa akin. And I know everyone naman has suffered some sort of inconvenience. And yun, let's not be bothered by it. And instead, let's focus on how to prevent and contain yung virus from spreading. And let's protect yung elderly people natin and yung people with underlying uh, medical conditions because they're the most vulnerable dito sa virus na to. And also, let's help yung uh, healthcare system natin na wag mag-overwhelm dun sa pagkakasakit. So yun, sorry for the long intro, but I think it's important to say this. Yan, start this video. Okay, first agenda for this video, uh, stock market or yung Philippine stock exchange natin. So yung Philippine stock index moves uh, 10% intraday this week twice so parang to give you muna context sa mga walang idea how the stock uh, market moves or index moves so it usually just moves around a percent each day each trading day and yung 2% 3% malaking galaw na yon so imagine yung 10% it's a huge 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 unprecedented move na makikita mo in a stock index natin din sa Philippine stock market so explain ko muna kung yung PSE index or Philippine Stock Exchange Index so generally it's just composed of the top 30 listed companies natin here in the Philippines to show yung general movement ng stock market natin. So, para magkaroon tayo ng idea kung saan papunta or paano yung galaw ng stock market natin. And it drops 10% twice intraday last week. And dahil doon, it caused yung circuit breaker natin to be trip or to be activated. So, ano yung meaning doon pag na-trip or na-activate yung circuit breaker ng stock market natin? What it does is it holds yung trading ng stock market. So, for 15 minutes, nakapause yung trading. So, bakit ganun? Uh, it allows yung mga traders or investors na i-compose yung sarili nila to think what they will do, will they hold, will they buy. Because generally naman, here in the Philippines, there are only three moves you can do sa stock market natin. Either you buy, either you hold, or you sell. So, yun lang. So, that's what the stock breaker does for the, uh, the, the investors and the traders. On my last note, when it comes to the stock market, I hope everyone has an action plan before they uh, enter a trade. So, if you're going to buy and hold, do buy and hold. If you're going to cost average, do cost averaging. If you're going to lock your gains, ilock mo na yung gains mo. If you're going to just wait and see, mag wait and see ka lang, don't participate. So, yun lang. I hope everybody would uh, practice uh, proper risk management. Kasi, we don't really know where this stock market will go. And mahirap and masakit sa ulo na maipit yung pera mo sa stock market. So, yun. I hope uh, the best for everyone and good luck to everyone who's going to participate in the stock market. Second agenda for this video, the COVID-19, my personal thoughts about it. So, it sucks. It is what it is. Uh, let's just do yung responsible action. So, practice social distancing as much as possible. And practice, practice up good personal hygiene. Wash your hands. Uh, sanitize mo yung kamay mo. And when you sneeze or you cough, you dub. <laughs> So yun, uh, this is my personal thought about it. To the young people like me, we would probably survive this uh, disease and wala masyadong mangyayari sa atin. But please, let's be considerate because uh, there are people na vulnerable yung matatanda natin and yung may mga underlying health conditions plus yung uh, healthcare system natin. So yun, uh, let's not overrun yung healthcare system natin. And uh, yun, the, probably one of the best contributions na pwede mong gawin dito is to not get sick and not spread the disease. Totoo lang, feeling ko dito it's more of a social and moral responsibility. Always act with class and compassion over the others. Don't panic buy, don't hoard, don't uh, parang make unjust profits dahil sa sitwasyon na to. So yun lang, um, I hope 
uh, parang karamihan lang uh, mild cases and please wag kayong mapikon pagka nagtest positive kayo and pinag self quarantine lang kayo the reason kung bakit yun yung ginagawa nila is kasi uh, mild case ka lang so parang be positive pa yung reason kung bakit pinag self quarantine lang kahit nag positive yung iba is kasi uh, they're reserving yung hospitals natin to the people with more severe and serious cases so yun lang just be patient and pagaling kayo and parang yeah, enhance your immune system. Please, please, please be responsible to yourself and to your community. Uh, lastly, uh, let's sympathize and share our deepest thoughts sa mga people who lost their loved ones over the COVID-19. I'll share uh, a link below regarding dun sa article ng uh, isang daughter who lost her uh, loved ones, yung mother niya, yung Filipino mother niya over the coronavirus 2019. So yun, uh, yeah, let's be responsible and let's take action dito. Lastly, the Philippine economy. I'm hoping that we will all recover sooner rather than later. And I know naman na there are businesses that are hit harder. There are people who lost their jobs. And there will be parang people or businesses who will lose their income. And yun, my thoughts are with you guys. And uh, I hope talaga na the government will act accordingly. And I don't, I don't know, I just feel positive naman na mga agencies ng govern, government natin will act accordingly depending dito sa situation na mangyayari. That's it. Keep safe everyone. Let's all be a responsible citizen. And let's do what's best para sa community natin and sa country natin. Ayun, see you in the next video and this too shall pass. Alright, bye!